Hey guys, welcome back to the Paper Umbrella. My name's Jesse, and we today we are continuing our cruising series for my cruising rookies, cruising newbies, first time cruisers. We're going to talk to you guys today about um, going from the terminal to the boat. If you have any questions about getting from like parking to, from your car to the terminal, I will leave that linked below. I did that video last time, but today we're going to talk more about getting from the terminal actually onto the ship. And then my next video I'm going to do is you're on the boat. Now what? <laughs> so I want to talk to you guys a little bit about getting on the ship and, um, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, leave me below. If you have, if you are a veteran cruiser, I want to know your secrets. I want to know your tips. I want to know your tricks. I want to know all that kind of good stuff. Um, so leave it down below for me, please. I want to know. Um, in this series, I'm going through the nitty gritty stuff that's maybe not fun to watch, that people don't film a lot, that people either can't film a lot, and a lot of this one, um, you can't film it because security, and I will be talking very vaguely in most of this <laughs> for security. So, um, but yeah, if you have, and a lot of this is going to be generic. It does differ from port to port. Um, and sometimes from cruise line to cruise line, um, I've only sailed Carnival. So that's what I'm really going to be focusing on today is, is Carnival cruise lines and all that kind of good stuff. Um, but if you have any questions about any of this, um, you know, you can always ask me, but if I'm, if I don't know, or you're just more comfortable asking your cruise line, please ask your cruise line. They would rather you ask before you leave than when you get there. So that way everyone's prepared. Everyone's a little bit more ready for what's about to happen. So everyone's a little bit smoother. They want it that way. So, um, that's what I'm going to say is please, please ask <laughs> questions. Please ask. There are no dumb questions because this is the most stressful part of a cruise is getting onto the boat. So don't let, don't let this scare you first of all, but I'll, at the same time, don't let this dictate how the rest of your, your cruise is going to go because, um, yeah, it, it can be dicey sometimes. So, um, last time we left off, I told you guys to have your boarding pass in your hand and go ahead and have your ID in your hand. And that hasn't changed. Like I said last time, staple that boarding pass to your t-shirt because you're going to be scanning it like 300 times. Something I guess I should have said last time, but I'm going to say now is every single person needs their boarding pass. It's not one boarding pass for everyone. Every single person in your party needs to have their boarding pass and their ID in hand. If you're traveling with a child, have a designated parent, guardian, adult that is their paper handler that they're just attached to at the hip. Like put a rope around them and attach it to you because, um, you know, they'll need to have theirs as well. So you may need to make sure you have everyone's boarding pass and you need to make sure you have everyone's form of identification um, on you at that point in time. Um, IDs vary from port to port um, and cruise to cruise. Some cruises require a passport, some don't. Some are just require you to have um, your birth certificate and your driver's license. It totally varies. Um, always ask like your travel agent, Go ahead and look at your cruise line. They're more than happy to tell you what you need. So that way there's no miscommunication, but you need to make sure you have it with you when you're getting in line um, because that's, you'll definitely need it. All right. So you will go through security, think airport, security, all that kind of stuff. If you got sodas, sodas are getting x-rayed today. That's just the way it is. Now you're going to go into detail. That's just it. Um, but after you do that stuff, you're going to start, this is a little bit um, where it gets maybe cruise specific, but I think most of them are this way. You're going to go ahead and go to basically a check-in desk and you're going to have your boarding pass with you. Again, boarding passes, staple them to you. You're going to have your boarding pass and your ID and you're going to go up to front desk. They're going to talk about your forms of identification with you. They're going to go over... Um, like if you're going to set up a cash account versus a card account, this is where you're going to be doing it. So go ahead and have that handy as well. Um, I like to have what I call a folder of doom with me and I'll absolutely go over what's in that folder with you guys in a separate thing, but I, you're going to go ahead and have that with you. Um, and keep in mind at this point, you still have your carry on. So you're carrying your carry on through all of this. So if you have a really heavy carry on, you're going to be carrying it for some time. So make sure you can either roll your carry on or carry your carry on for a good 20 to 30 minutes standing up because there's no telling how long you'll take to go through this. So that's something to think about. Make sure you carry on. If you have a backpack, make sure it's not super heavy. Make sure it's not going to hurt your back, all that kind of good stuff. Um, 
after you've done that, sometimes some will give you, you know, go ahead and give you a room key. Others, your room key will be waiting for you by your room. It totally depends on, on cruise, boat, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so just keep that in mind. But after you go ahead and do your check-in, then comes the sitting and the waiting and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, I like if you've done faster to the fun, this part's going to go a whole heck of a lot quicker for you. If not, you're going to be there for a bit. Um, a lot of cruises now have um, check-in times where they want you to arrive at the port. This is to help them make sure this is more manageable and efficient sort of thing as opposed to everyone bum rushing them when they first open or everyone trying to scoot in at the last minute um, <laughs> just to make sure this process goes quicker. Um, you will have your carry on with you during this whole time. Please, please keep that in mind. So if you have a giant bag or a big old duffel bag, you really need to make sure you can sit thinking like a, a hospital waiting room, how there's just those little crappy chairs with the little arms things on them and you're like this the entire time. Like that's how you're gonna be sitting. So you need to make sure that you can comfortably keep your, your carry on either between your legs, underneath your chair, um, in your lap, on your back. However, you need to make sure you can comfortably do that. Um, it could be I've waited as little as 15 minutes like this. I've waited as long as two hours for this. There's no telling how long you could be sitting there. And I think this is the thing that I want you guys to know about the most is to be prepared for this. So make sure your phone's charged because if you're on your phone the entire time, um, you want to make sure you can be on your phone. Like, you don't want to make sure your battery's not dying. Um, if you have a kid, you need to make sure that they have entertainment of some sort because they're going to be sitting there with you too. And there's not a lot of getting up. There's not a lot of moving around. You're literally like this far away from somebody else's knees. Like, it's not a super comfortable environment to be waiting in, but you're going to be waiting in it. Um, so prepare your kids for that. Have, you know, some YouTube downloaded on your phone or on their whatever. Um, maybe have them some like a coloring book or something, just have something to distract them, to keep them happy, a favorite toy, um, something like that, that they can just sit there and play with, um, versus getting up and running around. Cause there's not, is not any running around room. Please, please don't let your child just go crazy. <laughs> it's happened, <laughs> but please don't. Um, and then, like I said, keep in mind, this is your carry on is somewhere in here with you. And that includes those Cokes. If you brought Cokes in earlier, that includes any rolling size carry-ons that you have, beach bags, duffel bags. It doesn't matter if you have that carry-on, it's coming with you. So make sure you have that. Um, but they will, they will shove you in that room like sardines. You'll wait until your time is called. And then you will go to um, the first of many pictures, at least in Carnival, many, many pictures, where they will take your big photo in front of this thing that has the background of the ship and you're all together and if you're wearing matching t-shirts and it's all cute and dorky and stuff and if you have your names on the back maybe your family will make you turn around so everybody can see your names but then like half the people didn't get that memo so they didn't turn around or smile or something love you guys <laughs> <laughs> but you want to make sure at that point in time that you are all together, that your family's all together. Um, you can kind of get split up during this, especially if there's multiple families. Um, like I said, make sure there's a buddy system. I said it in my previous video. I don't think I've said it in this one. Make sure you have a buddy system. Um, if you have a small child in your party, make sure they have a designated adult that has their paper. And I would suggest if you have multiple children, like if you have two kids, mom has one, dad has the other. Um, if there's three, maybe the two oldest and the youngest, because it is, it is a, a, um, it can be a process. They really do slide you through it as fast as possible. Um, they don't want you stopping and waiting for your family. They will just say, keep up, keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, it is very stressful. So buddy system it up. Just understand that everyone will get on the boat at the same time. I promise everyone will get on the boat. And that's really what it boils down to is making sure that you have a buddy system. So you have someone to wait with, um, that your kids have someone to wait with um, but just know that you could potentially get split up during some of this um, but you want to make sure that that you have that buddy system um, if you're going to wait for the rest of your group it needs to be right before you get your picture um, that's really the only place that you can kind of stop and say where's the rest of my people you know these people were sitting two chairs down from me you know I'm gonna wait for them um, so it's, it's one of those where you kind of have to 
understand that you'll all get there, but it may be broken up a little bit. Um, but that's what I have about getting on from the terminal, from the time you park to the boat. Um, let me know if you have any um, general tips down below. Like I said, this will vary from port to port. If you're a veteran cruiser, I want to know down below, what do you do during that sitting time? Um, do you make friends? Do you talk to other people? Because these are your boat mates for the next, your shipmates for the next few days. Do you, do you make friends? What, what do you do? Um, leave me, let me know below. I'm super curious to know about all this. Um, if you guys have any questions about cruises or anything like that, you're more than welcome to email me at thepaperumbrella.travel at gmail.com. You can visit me on my beautiful website at www.thepaperumbrella.com or you can always leave a comment below. Please like, let the world know that this is helpful. Please share, please subscribe, ring the bell. If you definitely ring the bell if you want to know we're on the boat now what that'll be more carnival based so if you have any questions i'm really looking forward to that one um but thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it that's all for today now go out there and make some waves <laughs> bye guys <laughs>